As Tom Brady's future remains uncertain, Deion Sanders is the latest to join Skip, who's been saying that the Patriots signing and trading Tom Brady to the 49ers would be a win for all involved. And yesterday, Sanders said that this scenario, quote, just makes sense for everybody. So, Shannon, let's get your take. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Do you agree? Oh, no. Uh-uh, time. I ain't going to let you off the hook like that. No? Because it was time that been told me. Skip, he and I, we all the time, we're on the phone. Deion Sanders. I can only we're, imagine. We're on the phone all the time. We go, this go back to last year. <laughs> oh, Brady, Brady. Go, I said, uh-uh, uh-uh. Now, I just wanted you to know one thing, Skip. Help me understand. Who's the best coach in NFL history? Bill Walsh. There you go. You ruined every conversation. <laughs> you is Bill Hoodie Belichick. Mm, says you. Six Super Bowl wins with nine appearances. Now, that's the smartest coach, the best coach in NFL history. What does he know that other people don't? Huh? So, you let me get this right, Skip, The 49ers, the Kyle Shanahan and uh, uh, John Lynch, you're supposed to get rid of a quarterback that was fifth in completion percentage, 30 yards per attempt, 12th in QBR at the age of 28. And you're going to take on a 43-year-old that was 27th in completion percentage, 27th in yards per attempt, and 19th in QBR. Wow. Coach Belichick all of a sudden got dumb overnight because he's willing to forego that guy. He knows something. Mm. A guy that sees him every day in practice. He for Skip, I kept telling you. I kept telling you this day was going to come. Skip, it's okay. Skip, it's okay to get old and not be the guy you were 10 years ago. It happens. I ain't the same guy I was. I ain't the same man I was 10 years ago. I ain't much different, though. <laughs> Skip, it hurts. I know it's going to hurt you because I told you this was going to happen. I would not do it. I'm not moving on from a 28-year-old for a 43-year-old. That's not happening, Skip. I'm not going to do it. I know it sounds, oh, good, it sounds so good. No. Coach Belichick knows something because Coach Belichick normally doesn't give up good players. Mm. You know, he don't normally do that. Okay. So what have you told me all along about Bill Belichick over the last two years sitting in that chair? Yep that he only wants the opportunity to prove he can win one Super Bowl without Tom Brady. He does want that. So that doesn't really reflect on how good or bad Tom is at this point and stage and age. It's, it's all about Belichick just wanting the opportunity because he's earned the opportunity to say, watch this. Yeah. I don't want all the credit going to number 12. I want all the credit coming to Hoodie, okay? Yep. So Hoodie... Once the opportunity, <laughs> he feels like after nine of these Super Bowls, give me the chance to build one by myself, yeah. okay? So it's not about how good or bad Tom Brady is right now, and I'm not even sure that he's signed off on letting Tom go. I, I'm not going to be surprised if they make him a reasonable offer and he stays in New England. Would that be Belichick's blessing? I don't know. We're not there yet. I think that Mr. Kraft blessing. Okay, well, it could be. It well could be. So now let's flip it around and look at the 49ers. Mm -hmm. Okay. What just happened? They played three playoff games, and Kyle Shanahan regularly and repeatedly showed you he did not trust this quarterback because against your Vikings, mm -hmm. yeah. second half, he let him throw six passes. I was just shocked by that. But they were running the ball pretty right. effectively. And so he's just saying, I don't need you, Jimmy. And that's enough of you today. And then it got even worse against Green Bay because he let him throw eight for the whole game. He let him throw two second-half passes against the Green Bay Packers. But he wasn't needed. But I still believe that deep down, Kyle knows, heart of hearts, can't really trust him with the money on the table. And yet. He got forced in the Super Bowl into a fourth quarter predicament in which he finally said, I got no choice. I got to put the Super Bowl in Jimmy G's hands. And what happened in the fourth quarter? Three of 11 happened for 36 total yards and an interception. A loss happened. They blew a lead because of Jimmy G. Skip, we're third and 15 from having a moot conversation. Let that sink in. That was third and 15. We believe that the outcome would have been different had the 49ers defense could have just gotten off okay. the field. But the 49ers offense did have the ball two or three times yeah. in, in crucial moments, and the quarterback misfired. Oh, you do, you do remember, like, uh, the Patriots had it, like, short yardage down at the, uh, against Tennessee, mm -hmm. and they got stuffed on fourth down, right? Okay. Why would they let Tom Brady throw the ball, Jenny? Who? If he's the guy. 
Who That's had, Tom Brady. Who had the better receivers, 49ers or Patriots? No, Help me out. Skip, I, I, I think it's skip. way whoa, 49ers. It's, whoa, whoa. I'm just asking a simple Dude, question. Debo Samuel? Okay, Samuel? I get he had wow. Debo. He had Emmanuel Woo. Sanders. He had George Kittle. I get Kittle. I get all of that. Mm-hmm. I'm saying against Tennessee in the playoff, why wouldn't Coach Belichick put the ball in Tom Brady's hand? That's the goal, Jenny. Mm. Nine Super Bowl appearances. Mm. Six wins. All the wins come from behind. Mm. Four-time MVP. Coach Belichick took the ball out of his hands. Why? Well, uh, the last regular season game in which the Patriots could have had the two seed in the AFC, which is pretty great, Brady did what he always did before. He took him right down the field for 75 yards and a touchdown, and then Belichick's defense gave up an 80-yard touchdown drive. Not a field goal drive, a touchdown drive to Ryan Fitzpatrick to blow the two seed and the season. Let this sink in for just a second. If Coach Belichick defense at any point in time this season gave up more than 17 points, they lost. Let that sink in for just a second. Mm. Now, 17 points per season, yep. more times than not, will have you top three in points allowed. Mm. If you, they gave, if they gave up 17, that was a magic number. Mm. If they, somebody reached that number, it was kaput. Okay. What happened to your guy? He can't give me a regular. He can't give me 21. What, he can't give me 20. What you said repeatedly oh. about his number one receiver? You, you've called Julian Edelman broken down several times. Oh, my God. Right? Well, who he, got him broke down? Uh, Tom Brady uh, throwed him into them headaches. Oh, no, Throwed him into traffic. Well, that's what he does for a living. Oh, so not so he, now. He, he the gets ma- his head hit. Yeah, so now it's his fault. You know what I'm saying, J.D.? For 27th in completion. Yep. So I'm going to take a guy. I'm going to take a guy. I got a money manager, Jenny. Okay. This one guy brings me, say, uh, 17% per year. Mm. The other guy brings me 7 So I'm going to give up the guy that brings me 17 for the guy that gives me 7 I wish I might. What did he do that at, Skip? This is cut and dry. No, it ain't. And I tweeted it in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. Tom Brady would have won the Super Bowl for the 49ers. Why did he do it for the, why did he do it for the Patriots? Yeah. I want to know, first of all, you say it's cut and dry. He only won six. I want to know who cutting and who drying, yep. if it's so cut and dry. Yep. It is. Deion Sanders, who's the greatest quarterback <laughs> ever, he knows. And he, now he, he lights up this he show. Don't want, he don't want me to be right. I told him this day would come in time, just don't want me to be right. He don't want me to be right. Yep. So now he want to try to save face. I know what you do in time. You think you're slick. Yep. I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to save face. I told you Brady still had it. It makes sense for everybody because why not just flip-flop quarterbacks? Let Brady go home to San Mateo where he grew up. Let him quarterback the team he loved as a little kid because he was at the catch game in early 1982, the Dwight Clark. Well, now Kyle got to change his whole offense. Yep. He can't run no boots. Yep. He can't run no naked. I'll he bet, can't get outside. I bet Kyle could figure out how to somehow yep. ease Tom Brady into his old Why we got to do all that, Jim? Yep. Yep. I mean, we got an offense that's working it, really well. Tom Brady. You make changes when you got You just do it because he would give you two years of shots at winning the Super Bowl that I don't think Jimmy G can Jimmy win. Jimmy G got it. Team. They're yep. 30 and 15 away. Yeah. 30 and 15. Mm. 30 and 15, Skip. Interesting. And nope. we've been hearing it from you, Skip, for yep. a long time. Yep. And they should just close their eyes and plunge and do it. Mm-hmm. It would make them the story of the year. And you know about the Super Bowl loser syndrome. You know what usually yeah. happens? Oh. The bottom falls out psychologically where you were so close and you can't quite get it back. And Jimmy G struggles all year. He knows the coach doesn't really believe in him or trust him. And that would not happen with this guy so you, as a 49er. So you want, you want Tom Brady to go back to New England when he knows the coach has already tried to get rid of him and don't really trust him? Well, there, it only matters what the owner says. Oh, right? so even if the coach don't want you. Because that coach in New England doesn't coach offense. He coaches defense. He coaches the team. Yeah. Mm. I just don't see it. Well, I keep going back to, remember when they deep cleaned the suite? Yeah. At July? I think they're they're cleaning. They're moving I, on. He he wants out. Well, Coach sure. Belichick, he, he Coach Belichick tried to do this a couple of years yeah. ago. Yeah, I know. I and wait to see and Mr. Kraft Belichick brought it back in the house. Andy Dalton or yeah, somebody. Jenny, you know how you, how you clean stuff? I'm, I'm sure you've been cleaning stuff. And then Matt go get it and bring it back in the house. You're like, Matt, I tried to get rid of this. Mm. Yeah, that's what Coach Belichick said. No, that would, it's the other way yeah, around. The other way around. I'm not cleaning. I need to be cleaning. But, but yeah, Belichick. Coach Belichick said, I tried to get rid of He said, Bob, 
He had his feet up on his desk. Yep. At the end of the season, yep. he had his feet up on his desk. Bob, see? So remember, he tried to get rid of him, and all Brady did was take him to another Super Bowl and throw for an all-time playoff record 505 yards. Call the and then he did it again, took him back to a second Super Bowl after he wanted to dump him, and they won that. And Coach Belichick, Coach Belichick said, you know what? And I ain't get a touchdown. When the last time Tom Brady had a touchdown pass in a playoff game? Uh. Anybody remember? He didn't do it in the Super Bowl, uh. and he didn't do it this year. So when did that skip, Bayless? Uh. What 